I'm Jenny Fusillo and this is Major League Lacrosse. The 2015 season is here and I'm talking with Boston Cannon Will Manny. Will, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, thanks for having me. Now Will, 2014 was a breakout season, season for you. What have you done in the off season to prepare for 2015 and build off that success? Uh, it, it's a lot of preparation in the off offseason. Uh, I've actually made a move in my professional career to now coaching in college across. I'm uh, in Wagner right now with Matt Poske, um, one of my former teammates. And uh, I personally have been had a sour taste in my mouth since last year, since not making the playoffs again in my second season. And, uh, I, I did a lot of working out, getting my stick in my hand, and now coaching every day, being able to do that and continue to grow my knowledge of the game and, and work out and be around these guys every single day around the game has helped me specifically and I feel a lot more confident after these past two weeks of training camp um, having that mentality of All right, this could be our year but it, it's a week to week basis and uh, I can't wait to get it started this weekend. Now from a team perspective the Cannons have had an extremely busy offseason with a lot of changes in trades the biggest being Paul Rabel to New York what are you looking forward to with such a different roster and a young team? Yeah, that, that was a, there was a lot of talk about that going into these past two weekends of training camp. And the team really shaped up the way I thought it was going to be. Uh, a lot of young players, a lot of energy. Uh, obviously, missing Paul, he's, he's one of the best players in the game ever. And that, that's a big piece missing. But I think, I think we did a great job of rebuilding. And uh, Coach Tuck and KB in our front office did a great job of bringing in guys that are going to buy in and really just play as a team and I saw that the first two weeks of training camp here and being able to play at Gillette Stadium now a lot of a lot of changes for this organization and that kind of turnover you, you kind of throw it in the air and hopefully it comes together um, a lot of people talking about oh, earlier in the season until we get a couple of guys back which is going to be great with Kevin Buchanan Brody Merrill and Mitch Belisle playing box right now uh, but from what I saw and what I was a part of the past two weeks, I think we're ready to go. We have, we have a great base of athletic, fast midfielders, uh, fast attack, good inside finishers. Our defense is young and athletic and, and tough. And then we have two, great, two or three great goalies in cage that we're going to be battling it out. And I think that kind of competition brought a lot to the plate for us these past two weekends. And uh, whatever the dress roster is this, this weekend, everyone's going to be supporting each other. And I, I think it's going to be a great year for us. A lot of people would say now, Will, that you are the focal point of the offense. Would, what kind of adjustment will this be for you? Yeah, it's, I think what, I, what I've been telling people since my first year in the league is you got to find your role each year, whether that's after the season's over, uh, seeing what happens in the offseason. And this year, for me, it was more stepping more into that leadership role, uh, having those guys with Ryan Boyle, uh, Paul gone, and Berger gone, it's, it's a lot missing. And I think I'm personally, the way I've been working out and, and stressing myself on how, how I need to do my role this year, I think I'm ready, I'm ready to step up to it. And the guys around me and Coach Talk and KB and now the supporting cast we have on the team on the roster, uh, they have my back. And I think I'm ready to step up to that position where I'm not going to freak myself out every week saying, hey, all eyes are going to be on me because that's not the case. There's so many talented people in this league that anyone can score at any given time. But having that supporting cast is definitely a lot better with a confidence level. And I think that's a lot to do with young players in this league is having the confidence and knowing your role and not doing too much. Because like I said, everyone in this, everyone that's on the field at six on six at one time can score from anywhere. Now, on the outside, a lot of people would say that this is going to be a rebuilding year for the Cannons. Internally, do you have that same view? I guess you can call it a rebuilding year with just all the new names. Uh, but talking to people the past two weeks, especially after training camp, there's only eight teams in the league and 20, 21 people dress each week. So that 160 numbers that are dressed, they're all talented players. And there's people that don't get to dress that are very talented as well. So um, the rebuilding, I guess you can say that with all the new names and uh, a bunch of us still being young and second, third year guys, but I think the camaraderie and the tight knit group that we have, you'll see early and hopefully it starts Sunday that we're on the same page. We're going to fly around. We're not going to stop until that last whistle blows. And I think that's what it comes down to because if you don't show up in this league, you're going to lose. 
Now you open up against the reigning champions, Denver Outlaws. Do you view this as a chance to make a statement? Yeah, of course. And I think it goes back to what happened last year. Uh, we opened up 2014 at home versus the defending champions, the Bayhawks, and we came out flying. We had a chip on our shoulder from the last year, um, not just because we're playing the defending champions, but we didn't make the playoffs again. And it's the same situation this year. And I think with this group, we're going to be ready to go. I mean, whether it's emails or text messages, uh, everyone's on the same page and saying how excited they are and what they're doing today or tomorrow or the next couple of days to prepare for it. And then just how excited we are for Saturday to get practice over with and just be together. And I think that's huge. I mean, when it comes to Sunday, it's if we show up, we'll have a good day. If not, but I think leading up to the game, we're ready to go. Well, I'm looking forward to the season. Thanks, Will. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.